Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how I made this adorable edible TP cake topper and some little accessories to go along with it. Okay, so I have an edible teepee. I have some little blankets and a little, sorry, a little blanket and a bunch of little pillows. And I am going to show you the process of how I made them. I have, I have a box full of textures, so much fun stuff. I am going to pick a few that I'd like to use for my little tent and pillows. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Can you guys see that? I'm just gonna go through them all and select some. I've had this forever and I've never used it, so it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have to wash it because it's been here for too long. I put all my mats to the side. I am going to get my Rest Krispie treats and I am going to shape my tent. The smoother I get my Rice Krispie treats, the nicer my fondant will go on it and the thinner it can be. Okay, I have the shapes that I want. I made two cute little pillows. These are gonna be adorable and how delicious they're going to be Rice Krispie treats inside. I technically really could have just made them out of fondant, but this is gonna be so much tastier. So I'm very excited about that. And maybe I'll make a teddy bear if I feel like it, if I still have energy, so fun. Okay, after all that work to get this tent perfect, I just got a call from my client that we are changing it to a teepee. So, I, 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 do I redo it or do I just make a tent and a teepee? Um, decisions, decisions. I'm making it a teepee. Oh, okay. All right, this is, was not the easiest thing to do, but it's going to be completely worth it once I figure it out, which I will. All right, now that's definitely taller. Yes. Okay, now. Okay, that's gonna be it. So cute, okay. Now I am going to cover it in white fondant and then I'm going to add details. You guys wanna see? This is the picture my client sent me that we are going to do this is the tent birthday girl is going to be sleeping in sorry the teepee this is the teepee where the birthday girl will sleep we will make a teepee for birthday girl now white
I'm not sure why I'm worrying about making it so perfect all around because I just remembered that a teepee is made out of cloth. So that means it's not perfect all around. It is going to have some movement. The material is going to have some movement. So I'm going to grab a tool and, and make it a little more realistic now. Now that I spent so long making it perfect, I'm going to now make it not so perfect. I am adding gum text and I will make some gum paste so that I can make some flaps for the entrance, the front of the teepee will be open. Okay, now I'm going to make these the sticks that go on top of the teepee and they will be so cute. They will make it all realistic. I am gluing them to a toothpick so that then I can attach it and they won't they will stay. Now that I have covered the teepee a little bit more, I'm going to cover it with leaves and flowers. I have all of these flowers for, from the other day when I made a whole lot of them, way more than I needed. So I'm just going to pipe leaves and blue flowers. Okay, I have my little teepee tent done. Look how cute, it has movement and it's ready to go on a cake. It's not that little, but it's cute. Then we're gonna do some other stuff. All right, now that I have my tent ready, my teepee ready, I will start making some decorative pillows to put outside. These are gonna be so yummy.
Okay, so now the grass is done, the teepee's done, the cake, the teepee is on the cake, and now the very last thing, I am going to make a tiny little blanket for my little campers to lay on. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, and finally, I am going to get to use one of my mats that I thought I was going to use, but didn't yet. All right, let's do this. Okay, that's it, so cute. And now... Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't know where to put this one, but I know what we need. How about a fire? We need a fire. And if you guys wanna see how I made this fire, you can watch my next video. And I'll show you how I did it. It was my first time trying to make a, an isomalt, isomalt fire and it worked out great. All right, this is the font. Oh, they have a little campfire. Yay. So cute. Okay. Oh my God, this is too cute, but we can't have a campfire without s'mores. So, Oh my God, that's too cute. Now the pillow. All right, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching. This is it. This is how it looks when all the details are on top of the cake. My favorite part when the whole thing is assembled. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up if you like my video. Please hit the bell button and that way you know when the new video comes out. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again next week. Mwah.